There's plenty to worry about as a new parent. Top of mind for Chris Duker, making sure his four-month-old daughter, Kiersey, sleeps on her back. In the first little while, you know, as you know, with sleep deprivation, you're always watching her. And yeah, for sure, they, you know, they're really serious about it. And you've heard horror stories. Wow, good. Doctors recommend babies sleep on their back to prevent sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS. <laughs> But there can be a side effect for babies lying on their back, plagiocephaly or flat-headed babies. 16-month-old Cash Cyril wears a helmet 23 hours a day to help correct a flattening of his head on one side. His head was misshapen from the minute he was born, so. But it got really worse after when he was about six months old. I was surprised. Um... But at the same time, when we think of everything that we're telling new moms to do in terms of always putting your baby to sleep on the back, that's part of why they end up with flat heads. Researchers suspect another contributing factor, the length of time babies are in car seats and other infant chairs. Newborn skulls are soft and pliable, making them prone to flatten. The worry is the condition could lead to developmental delays. And a new study found 40% of children could have some form of plagiocephaly. Luckily, the problem is preventable. When we're talking about car seats, it's not appropriate to leave your baby in a car seat all day long. <laughs> and when babies aren't sitting... Alternate the position of their head at night when they're sleeping so they're not always looking to the same side. And when they're awake, um, doing some tummy time, which is really important, just time off the head. You want to tell me more? Chris Duker heard the warnings. You definitely don't want it. You don't want to go through the stages of having to sort of reconstruct the head so it's normal. Um, and we're just diligent about making sure she's on her back and watching her. Bucket time. Diligent, he says, to prevent the preventable. Yes. Brooks DeSilia, CBC News, Calgary.